before viewing this video watch the previous one in the playlist. Select new project then ensure you've got Windows Form application selected. Type in an appropriate name here and click OK. Right click on Demo in the Solution Explorer. Choose Add and then choose Class. The dialog will appear. Make sure you have Class selected there. Then make this the same name as your class diagram, i.e. My Adding Class. Then choose Add. We can see it appear here in the Solution Explorer. And over here we can see we have the template for the class, my adding class. And what I'm doing now, I'm typing in the variable that is required, where the variable is sum of two CL as shown in the class diagram. And we need this to be an integer, as you can see here. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make a public read-only property procedure. And I'm going to give the property procedure the name sum of two, and I'm going to say that it's going to be returning an integer. And then we get this template. And in here, I'm going to say return sum of two CL. Now that shows us that this particular property procedure with this line here will be returning whatever the content of this variable is here. So we can see how we link a property procedure to a class level variable. And we can see how I choose the names to be almost the same as we highlighted in the last video. I'm now going to produce the add to sub method as shown in the class diagram here. I'm going to make this a public sub method called add to as you can see here. And then in the brackets I'm going to type by val and that means by value. And this is going to relate to the class diagram as you can see here I'm going to call it number one as integer then I'm going to do by value again and this time it's going to be number two or num2 and num1 to be more accurate and that's going to be as integer as well and we can see quite clearly that this line here relates to this entry in the class diagram we can see that the subroutine has been called add two as you can see here and here and that the parameters well the first parameter is num1 which you can see here and here and the second parameter is num2 which you can see here and here this is how we declared a pass by value parameter the word by value here simply means that number one is capable of receiving the content of another variable that is passed in as a parameter and in fact number one is being defined as an integer as we can see here and something similar happens over here here we are declaring number two to be a pass by value parameter of type integer we can see that the declaration of num1 and num2 are separated by a comma as you see here we now enter the following program statement we make the class level variable equal to the sum of what's stored in num1 and what's stored in num2. The code you see before you now actually defines the class that we discussed in the previous video in this playlist. That is this class here. We will now build the form to test the class. We add a button to the form as you can see here. We then choose a label and we put that on the form. We then choose a text box. We put that on the form and move it down a little. We then choose another text box and we can see that's positioned there and then we move all of the components around into their appropriate positions. We now set the name properties of each of the components in turn as you can see here. Here you can see I'm setting the text property of the button to add numbers. Here I'm deleting the text property of the label and here I'm actually naming it appropriately. The auto size is set to false and the border style is set to fixed single. Once we've set the properties, this is what the form will look like. Double clicking the button will bring the code window into view as we can see here. We now need to test the class we've developed as represented by the collaboration diagram shown below. The first thing we need to do is to declare this variable here. 
as you can see me typing in here return val as integer we now declare the following two integers n1 as an integer and n2 as an integer now these two declarations are needed because we can see that message one will be passing the contents of these two variables as part of the message here and here where the message is going to the instance of my adding class my object the next thing to do is to create an object reference that's capable of pointing to an instance of my adding class and then we create a new instance of this class as we can see by this line of code here so these two lines of code have been responsible for ensuring that there is a line of visibility between the unnamed instance of form one and the my object instance of the class my adding class now the fact that the object reference my object has been declared on this line within this subroutine means that my object is a local variable consequently the stereotype shown here is marked up as local which is telling the programmer that they must ensure that the line of visibility is created by a method within the unnamed instance of form one which is precisely what is happening within this method here as shown by these two lines the next two program statements allow for the contents of both text boxes on the form to be transferred respectively to variables n1 and n2 and we can see that we ensure that they are converted to the type of n1 and n2 i.e integers now this program statement is actually responsible for implementing message one as seen in the collaboration diagram and here we can see quite clearly we're referring to the instance my object and we're using the add to sub method that was declared within the class responsible for defining the members of the instant my object now the content of the variable n1 which here is the actual parameter is passed to be stored in the formal parameter num1 the same relationship exists between n2 and num2 i.e the content of n2 is passed to num2 the contents of num1 and num2 are added together with the results being stored in sum of 2 cl which of course is the private class level variable declared here the code now needs to implement message 2 which is this one here and this message is responsible for going to the instance of the my adding class i.e my object and getting hold of the data that was stored in the class level variable sum of 2 cl and of course it does this via the property procedure that was defined in the class my adding class and of course all of this is achieved by the following program statement of course what we now need to do is to output the result returned to the label on the form and that is achieved by this particular line here if we now run the program and enter two in here and three in there, click add numbers, we can see we get the result of five, which is exactly what we should expect. <laughs>